हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक माय यूट्यूब चैनल सेल्स फॉर संट दिस इज रोहित आई होप यू आर गुड एंड डूइंग वेल सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द फॉर्म फैक्टर इन एल डब्ल्यू सी सो बेसिकली फॉर्म फैक्टर इज नथिंग बट टू चेक योर क्लाइंट डिवाइस इट इट कैन बी मोबाइल टैबलेट और इट कैन बी डेस्कटॉप और लैपटॉप राइट सो बेस्ड ऑन दी डिवाइस इज द ऑटोमेटिक रिकोगनाइज द क्लाइंट डिवाइस इज यूजिंग दिस फॉर्म फैक्टर इन एल डब्ल्यू सी सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू so please watch this video until end and please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my site so let's get started without any further delay so let me open my vs code so here this is my vs code this is the editor right so first of all this is a pre request for form factor just you have to import this module from you know like client factor something like that so let me show you that one so once you type like client factor right so let me add this here now immediately you can see the name space right so this is the module you have to import it like form factor from sales for slash client slash form factor so you have to import it without this module you cannot recognize the client devices right so just you have to use it under this component body you have to write one variable here let's say form factor okay form factor equal to and then form factor because i want to use this form factor with this variable after that i need one variable let's say device name or device type name something like that right so device type name okay so this is another variable so i want to check different types of devices based on my you know client devices so just you have to do one thing under the connecting callback right we have to use switch statement or you can use like if else or something like that but uh, i will tell you the best way and best practice to write this different types of conditions inside this lwc so always use switch case right so let's say switch case form factor right case 1 and this device type is you know like large first of all large then second case is medium and then you can see the break and small device type with this one break case phone and phone type break and then default value unknown devices break and then you can close it so here let me make it this close here right and also let me close another bracket right so now you can see the code of the form factor so based on the devices it's the automatic recognize your devices right so for now you can see some of the uh, you know like if uh, the form factor is large so uh, that time i want to show like desktop desktop and laptop okay laptop and if medium so medium is nothing but it's a tablet okay and small is nothing what is a mobile right mobile and let me remove this extra case here yeah so now you can see the proper way to find out the form factor for the uh, you know client devices so just once you write it this is a simple code right just you have to use this variable inside your you know th uh, this uh, javascript property inside this html so let me add the card first of all so under here let me add this you know form factor uh, let me remove the unwanted html from here uh, let me add the p paragraph under this paragraph i want to use the class and i want to use sls margin medium or large something like that or just remove it or use like padding i need padding around medium this one this is the new way to write your sls here you can see the where previously it was like different types of you know like uh, like sls hyphen p hyphen around underscore medium but in this new updates you can see the where so this is the updated sls class so always use this new one so let's say device type colon and then you can paste it your javascript property inside html so once you done it now you have to configure this you know xml metadata file 
so I want to use this component inside my record page app page and home page so let me deploy this component and let's see the output so once you deploy it just you have to open your org okay so once you deploy your component now let me open my org and just open any kind of you know like app page so let me open like home page first let's say this home page under this home page just you have to drag and drop that particular component so i already drag and drop here you can see the desktop right now i'm using desktop and you know like uh, laptop so let me add it and here you can see this one and let me create a new page so it's easy to handle it so let me create new page and it's app page click on the next let's say test click on the next I want to use only one region click on done once you created this page under the custom you can see the form factor just drag and drop in particular places and immediately you can see the device type desktop if you want to change it because app builder page already have this kind of configuration so you can check out your component with the help of this you know options so let me choose this phone here and immediately you can see the your like device type phone and let me change the tablet so immediately you will be see the tablet as a device type so just change landscape now your tablet let me click on this desktop and now you can see the desktop so based on this devices the this component is automatic recognized your client devices and based on this you know like devices you can hide and show the component based on your requirement so it very useful for you know like devices so this is how to implement this form factor inside your client machine and this is the way to implement it so guys this is overall about the form factor in lwc i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please subscribe the channel please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of updates from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys